We've got some area kids. They get to return to the moon this morning. Yep, they're going to be escorted by a famous guy, the flight director, for man's very first trip to the moon. This is a pretty cool opportunity. Fox 2's Kim Hudson is live at the Challenger Learning Center in Ferguson with more. Kim? Good morning, guys. I am here with Gene Kranz, flight director for the Gemini and Apollo missions. And you have a lot of kids who are going to be from here. They're going to be looking at you. You are actually educated at uh, Parks College at St. Louis University. Tell me about your time there. Well, basically, I had a, a great time. I was in uh, Parks over on the east side, and uh, my dream was to fly. And basically, we lived in South Hall, which is the hall right on the airfield. We had two cross cinder runways over there. And uh, all day long, you'd hear the roar of the engines taking off. You had the uh, classroom windows were always open. So it was really tough at times to pay attention. You wanted to get up there and fly. Well, obviously, you wanted to fly very badly. Tell me about how you managed to help get the men to uh, on the Apollo 11 mission to the moon safely and back safely. What kind of a task is that? I was, uh, I was blessed with an absolutely superb team of very young people. Our average age was roughly about uh, 26. And we had grown up through the Mercury program where we first put manned space, Gemini program, where we learned to run to dock and do EVA. So we had most of the uh, tools in our kit there. We became familiar and confident with the technology. But the neat thing was is that we had the young kids who literally were dazzling. I was a technical dinosaur. So basically my job was to orchestrate. I was a quarterback, you know, call the signals right down in the red zone and all that stuff. And uh, we had a, a training team that really ran us through the gears. They gave us a exercise, our final one, uh, getting ready for the mission, and we blew it. And uh, debriefing, they said, look, you didn't pay enough attention to the computer program alarms and all that kind of stuff. Well, the thing that was really something was that was the exact problem that we faced when they're going down the moon. And uh, we were coming across the hill to uh, perform the maneuver to start the descent to the moon on the backside. It's what we call a power descent initiate maneuver. And then as the spacecraft comes around the front side, you're taking a look at the systems. Are you go or no go? Uh, all of a sudden, communications were all over the place. We had to start relay information to Mike Collins and the command mods and to talk to the crew and this. And here I'm trying to say, hey, I got to make a go no go decision pretty yeah. soon. And then the, one of my controllers calls out and says, Flight, we're halfway to our abort limit. And that is a word that we don't use very casually. <laughs> everybody always said, you're listening up there. Well, I was like, Gene Kranz, I'm sorry, we're going to have to stop you right there. But okay. I know a lot of students are going to be here later on this morning. They're going to get to hear all about that mission and how in the world you managed to get that through and make history. So we're going to have some kids here later on this morning, and they get to have all morning with this man right here. Guys, right now we're live in Ferguson. Back to you. I never asked for autographs, but I want his. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool to meet him. All the stuff he's done. A little bit jealous. Yeah. All right.